Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul and this is going to include my recent Sephora VIB sale as well as some items that I've picked up th at Ulta throughout the month. Some of you may be aware that I have a blog and I have been doing hauls on that blog ever since I started it, but I've never really carried those hauls over to YouTube and I think I wanted to start doing it because I've had a lot of people actually ask me to do so. So what I was doing on the blog was a collective haul at the end of every single month of items that I had purchased. And I think I'm just gonna transition that to YouTube instead of doing it for the blog. This does mean though that you're not necessarily going to see like an Ulta haul or a Sephora haul, it's just gonna be like a monthly haul. So I won't be pulling things out of a particular bag to show you what I got in that shopping trip. It'll just be like everything I've amassed throughout the month. And these hauls can be interesting if it's in a month where I did like a decent amount of traveling, like I was at IMATS this past month, I was at various Ulta's because I was in the US quite a bit, and the Sephora VIB sale haul happened. So there's a lot going on this month, but some months I end up just buying makeup remover wipes. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing with those videos on months where I don't really have a lot, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna start out with the Sephora stuff, which I have stuck in this nondescript bag because I placed my orders on Online and therefore only got like a Sephora box instead of a cute little bag. Now the reason I do all of my shopping online is because of Ebates and if you don't know what Ebates is, you need to get on this train. I took a really long time before I finally signed up for Ebates and I basically lost out on a ton of money by doing so. What Ebates is, is that when you sign up through their website and you navigate to an online retailer via Ebates own website, you get a percentage back in cash back and this will pay out quarterly. And it's not like a scam where you get to spend that money at a particular retailer. No, they give you cold, hard cash. They can either send you a check or they can deposit it to your PayPal account and you can do whatever the heck you want with that money. It is so, so worth it. And there are versions for Canada and US as well. I have links down below. They are referral links. You can use them if you want. If you use a referral link, you get $5 in return, I think that's the deal right now, and I get five bucks as well. You don't have to use my link, but for your own sake, sign up for Ebates. It is so, so worth it, and it doesn't cost you a penny either. All right, let's get into what I got during the sale. The first item I ended up getting, and I talked myself in and out of buying this so many times, it's the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. It is a neutral palette, and I don't need another one, but I am a Too Faced junkie, and I've gotten to that collector status where I want to own every single palette that they put out. Looks like this, I'm sure you've seen it by now. It's got embossing on the front. It's beautiful in that respect. And it flips open, you have a huge mirror up here, and then all of the shadows are down here. This is a really neutral palette. You've got some warmer tones down here, which I really, really like, but this very much fits into the whole like bridal theme that so many kind of collections gravitate towards when they're being released sort of spring through summer. I haven't actually touched it yet because I want to take photos for the blog and if you have a pristine product, it looks so much better in photographs. So I'll be doing like swatch shots on the blog. Should be coming up pretty soon. The only kind of sad thing about this product is that it doesn't have any kind of scent whatsoever and I'm so used to Too Faced products having a cocoa scent or a peanut butter scent or something like that that I was like, oh, I wish you guys had put some sort of good smell in this palette. So that was definitely my big ticket item for this purchase. Those palettes are really getting up there in price tag. I think Canadian funds it was like $69. I mean, that's not including the discount, but the price of palettes is definitely getting way up there. Uh, the other item that I knew I wanted to get because uh, I just really need them for travel, they're the Sephora sleeping masks. And I was sent a whole bunch of them, I think like two Christmases ago as part of a PR package, and I loved them. I couldn't believe how much of a difference they made in my skin. I remember using them when I came back from vacation one time, just kind of like wanting to solve a skin problem. I had really dehydrated skin at the time and not really knowing what to use. And I used one of these like hydrating sleeping masks from Sephora's own home brand. They're called Sephora Collection. And it made a difference. It was such an almost immediate difference in my skin overnight that I was just astonished. Now these are, pods so they don't look like they've got a whole lot of product in them but I can get about five uses out of them so I think that's really kind of worth it I believe they're about five bucks 
So the ones I did pick up uh, are the Honey Sleeping Mask, the Rose Sleeping Mask, and then the Lotus Sleeping Mask. And all three of these are hydrating or nourishing, which is really what I want when I'm traveling. And a side note about sleeping masks, because I wasn't really sure how to use them when I first got them, they apply like a moisturizer. You apply it to your entire face before you go to bed. It sinks in, it doesn't stay goopy, thank heavens, because I was worried that I was gonna get stuff all over my pillowcase. But these sink in, and in the morning you'll have completely refreshed skin. Love them. The next item ended up in my cart because I had recently tried this product and I needed more shades. And that is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I had the shade Kitten Karma, and that was sent to me by PR, but as soon as I tried that, I knew I needed more shades. These are incredible. So the shade I ended up getting is called Rose Gold Retro, and it is a rose gold with flecks of gold glitter throughout. I had the thought that this was going to look a little bit more orange because that's what it seemed to be online. Not the case, this is definitely more rose gold than I was anticipating, although I should not have thought otherwise because the name told me as such. Um, but I was really excited to add another one to my collection because I love the shade Kitten Karma and this is going to be just as much fun to play with. The next item was totally inspired by my friend Shauna. I saw her wearing this and I had to have it. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Halo. Now, they describe this as holographic, and it's not, but it is a duochrome liquid highlighter. It's kind of a purple to blue in a milky white base. It's absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to wear this. I definitely waited to buy this during the sale, though, because it is expensive. I think it was just over $50, so happy to have it, but glad I got it on sale. So my next order started with buying the Sephora Collection Supreme Cleansing Oil. I have used this in the past, gone through an entire bottle, and I loved it. I do not like the smell of it, but it works very, very well, and for a cleansing oil, this was one of the cheaper ones on the market. I think it was $19 before the sale, so I think I've seen drugstore ones go upwards of like $25, so I was more than happy to pick this up during the sale. I love how it dissolves my makeup. It's fantastic at removing everything on my face. And I've been without a cleansing oil for far too long right now. So I just decided take the plunge, go back to the Sephora Collection one and be happy with it because I did enjoy it a lot in the past. And in that second order, the one item that I kind of, again, like the Too Faced palette, I sort of talked myself into and then talked myself out of. And finally I just went, just buy it. So that item is the Tarte Make Believe In Yourself palette. And part of the reason that I got this is because I got a huge box of Tarte PR stuff, which I did unbox on Snapchat. I'll link my Snapchat around here. And I was so excited to get to use all the products. And they included the entire sort of unicorn collection, except for the palette. And I was like, oh no, I wanna do a roundup of all of the items. So I thought I'd just go ahead and pick up the palette. Oh, how pretty is this? And the reason I sort of talk back and forth to myself about it is because while the palette is absolutely beautiful, it's a lot of shimmers that are kind of on the same color tone. They're all sort of a pale to mid-tone color and I don't know how they're gonna work very well to make a cohesive eye look by itself. Now, thankfully, Tarte has included a mid-tone brown shade, this is paler than mid-tone, but it, it's gonna be good as a transition color for me. So that's great, but this is the only matte in the entire palette, and all of the other colors are shimmers. So I don't really know how it's gonna work out as a look by itself, but I'm eager to give it a go. So Sephora always gives you three samples per order, so I thought I'd just run through what I got. I got the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment, the Briogeo Don't Res don't Despair Repair. This is a deep conditioning mask for your hair, I believe. Yes, hair. And then the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. The Philosophy Purity Made Simple. This is a three-in-one cleanser for the face. I already know I love this, so I'm happy to have that one. Uh, the Dolce & Gabbana The One Perfume Sample. Not huge on perfume samples, but I was kind of running out of skincare options to choose from the sample bucket list. 
Now, I may not be eager on perfume samples in general, but the one I am eager to try is this one by Elizabeth and James. This is a Nirvana bourbon. I love Nirvana black, and I've not had the opportunity to try this one out on myself, so I'm curious if I'll like this as much as Nirvana black. All right, so that's it for the Sephora VIB sale. Let's get into what I have bought at Ulta. And uh, this is quite a few trips to Ulta. I think I went there, jeez maybe four times in the last month. Uh, I had the unfortunate incident of having a moisturizer taken away from me at security while I was getting on a plane. I didn't realize that something that was spreadable counted as a liquid. So sadly, they threw out the Tree Hut Brazilian Nut Body Butter. I love the smell of that thing, but sadly, I don't have it even though I had purchased it. And somebody at security has it. I told them to go ahead and take it like, and use it, and they're like, oh, we can't do that. And I'm like, well, that's really unfortunate. So that one's gone, but let's see what else I got at Ulta. While I was picking up that Brazilian cream that I no longer have, I also got this Cat Wrinkle Face Art Mask Sheet. Now, they had a ton of character masks, and they're all five bucks US, which I think is insanely expensive, but I couldn't resist the cat. So this is not a full cat face. This one's kind of cute. It's like a face mask with a cat that covers like your mouth area. I don't know how it's gonna look. I don't even know what this is supposed to do. I just wanted it because it's got a cat on it. The next item is not for myself. It's for my mom because she loves this. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I've given her multiple little samples that I've had before just from palettes and stuff like that. She loved it enough that she wanted a full size so I picked that up for her. Thankfully, Ulta was having a sale on NYX Microbrow, so I picked up two. It was buy one, get the other one 50% off, which isn't as cheap as if it was being bought at Toronto IMATS, which is happening in August this year, so it's a lot sooner. So I just opted to get two of them because I'll be stocking up at Toronto IMATS. The next item is a product that I never buy, and in fact, I couldn't even tell you the last time that I bought a concealer. But I feel like everybody won't shut up about Tarte's Shape Tape. So I was like, whatever, I'll give it a go. I'll see what the hype is about. Now, the thing that everyone has mentioned, and you don't really believe it until you see it in person, is just how big this thing is. This is the most jumbo <laughs> concealer I have ever seen in my life. It's thicker than a mascara wand, really. I think this is the size of like, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara want. It's that thick. Uh, I chose the shade Light Sand because the fair shades seem to be really pale, which is good if you're in that range, but I don't tend to fit into the near translucent end of the spectrum, so I thought light would work, and in fact, this is still pretty darn light. So this is the shade Light Sand, and again, just to give you an idea of how big this thing is, there's 10 mils or 0.34 fluid ounces, which is the third of a size of foundation, like a regular size foundation bottle. So there's a ton in this thing. Haven't tried it yet, no idea how it's gonna work on me. I have horrible under eye creasing on my eyes whenever I wear concealer. Um, so I just don't tend to opt towards wearing it very often, but I'm curious to see how this one will work out for me. And it's funny that I just mentioned that Sephora Collection cleansing oil because I did pick up another one at Ulta. I really like the Boots Number no. 7 brand and we have some of it here in Canada but I don't tend to see it displayed too much and I think the prices are really up there. So Ulta had this for I think 12 US which was pretty good. So this is their Beautiful Skin Cleansing Oil for normal to dry skin. I just wanted to try something different. I like the Sephora Collection one, but you know, we're always looking for something new and exciting. So just wanted to try the number seven one. And that is it. I actually feel like I bought more stuff at Ulta, but there's nothing more in my bag, so I guess I didn't. Couldn't even tell you what I thought I bought, but anyway, that's everything I have to show you for my collective haul for the month. Hopefully you've enjoyed hearing about the products that I've spent a ton of my money on. If you are interested in my iMats haul, I will link that in a card as well as in the description box because that was also purchased throughout the month of April. And that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.